Hi everyone! So today we will be talking about the anatomy and function of the different parts of a toad's respiratory system. So respiration is accompanied by gaseous exchange which is taking in oxygen and giving off carbon dioxide. Toads are capable of pulmonary respiration which is the breathing through the lungs. So first, we will be talking about the respiratory tract of a toad. The larynx or the voice box is a round or ovoid structure. Glottis is a slit opening of the larynx. Vocal cords is where the sound is produced. It is a pair of delicate white bands. Lungs is a pair of big thin walled sacs. It is where the process of gas exchange happens. Visceral pleura is the outermost covering of the lungs. It is where it receives its blood supply. Alveoli are small thin walled chambers. It is the site of gas exchange. Bronchi is a pair of short tubes from the larynx. It is the passage of air from the larynx. Dalton's law is a law governing the exchange of gas. There are types of physiology of breathing, which is the pulmonary ventilation and the gas exchange. Pulmonary ventilation is the process of moving air into and out of the lungs. Gas exchange is the exchange of gases across the respiratory membrane. Mechanics of breathing. So, it is measured in mmHg or the millimeters of mercury. The standard air pressure is 760 mmHg. So, remember that air moves from higher pressure to lower pressure. Mechanics of breathing has two types. It is the expiration and the inspiration. Expiration, diaphragm relaxes, so it increases the pressure in the thoracic cavity and then the air moves out of the lungs. Expiration is immediately followed by inspiration. During inspiration, diaphragm contracts, so it increases the volume in the thoracic cavity which leads to a decrease in pressure. Thus, air moves into the lungs. Respiratory sounds are the specific sounds generated by the movement of air through the respiratory system. Healthy lungs has a smooth flow of air, while congested lungs are wheezing or rattling. For respiratory cycle, one inhalation is equal to one exhalation. To find the respiratory rate, so Respiratory rate is equal to the number of breaths over the time in minutes. Variations in respiratory rate. So, low respiratory rate if you are sitting quietly. After you run, you will have a high respiratory rate. Because you need more energy in running, thus more carbon dioxide is produced as waste. Chemoreceptors will detect this change. With this, it will send signals to the brain and will increase your respiratory rate. Breath holding baseline rate is when breathing out without the use of paper bags or hyperventilation. With this, you exhale less carbon dioxide. Hyperventilation and breath holding. It is when you inhale and exhale maximally so you exhale more carbon dioxide with this so these are the diseases when you experience uh, lack of oxygen so the first one is the hypoxia it is the deficiency in the amount of oxygen reaching the tissues the next one is the dyspnea it is the difficulty in breathing next is the Orthopnea, it is the shortness of breath. Next is the apnea, it is the suspension of breathing. And lastly, the asphyxia, it is when we suffocate or we when we experience suffocation. So that's all. I hope you'll 
learn from this video till next time bye bye